former CIA operative says she has been abandoned by President Obama and Hillary Clinton from Clinton's tenure as Secretary of State. Sabrina de Sousa has repeatedly denied participation in one of the U.S.'s most notorious counterterrorism programs. So she says she has been left to plead her case in an overseas court on her own. She may face jail time. At issue, her alleged participation in rendition, the highly controversial act of transferring foreign criminals or terrorist suspects covertly to be interrogated in a country with fewer regulations on humane treatment of prisoners. With me now, the lawyer who represented Ms. Sousa in her failed case against the State Department and the CIA, Mark Zaid. To be clear, Ms. Sousa may be tried in Italy, now has Italian legal representation. Mark, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Deirdre. Did I, I assume you represented her because you believed her. So did she participate uh, or even if she did participate, was she just following orders? I mean, there was no evidence whatsoever of any substantive nature that she participated in this rendition. In fact, she was about 150 miles away skiing with her, her son on vacation when the rendition happened. And the only evidence the Italians ever produced was one email that mentioned the name Sabrina. Uh, and everything else uh, was pretty much non existent. So, so then, she was Mark, how up. can this be so messed up? Well, she was caught up. This first started as, as an Italian political issue. And they were primarily going after Italian intelligence officers. And when that failed because of immunity issues, they turned to all of the Americans. It was a very much a botched intelligence operation. Uh, and what we know of comes only really from the Italians and a few Americans who have spoken about the case. The U.S. government has stayed silent. And that's both the Bush and the Obama administration. So I want to come back to that. So could Hillary Clinton, as former Secretary of State, somehow clear the record? Oh, she could. I sent her... I think at least two letters. One uh, I signed personally. I believe the other came from my associate. Uh, the first letter I sent to her when she was Secretary of State was then classified, so I was unable to send it or show it to anyone in the media, which is why no one ever heard of it. And I think that was done deliberately in order to minimize my chances to publicize Sabrina's case. And then we ended up suing, as you mentioned. Uh, I got her legal representation paid for in Italy by the U.S. government, but we were unable to get her diplomatic immunity, which I think she should have had, uh, by the fact she was a diplomat with the U.S. State Department in Milan at the time. And she is the only American facing these charges, and she's the only American potentially facing jail time. Is that right? That's right. And when the Italians went after everyone, it was in abstentia. There were about 26 Americans named. Most of them were fake names. But about six of them were real uh, individuals. And uh, a couple of them have been pardoned by the Italian government for some reason. Uh, but uh, Sabrina had never stepped in Italy. And because she's been living in Portugal, there was a Europol, a European arrest warrant out for her. And they snatched her, essentially, in this standpoint. Uh, and now they're about to extradite her legally from Portugal to Italy, and she will be the only American, in fact, the only person, not even an Italian, has been facing any type of criminal charges. And the U.S. government has done absolutely nothing, certainly publicly, to help her. Well, I am glad you're here talking about it because maybe they'll receive a few more letters on her behalf because it sounds uh, botched indeed, exactly as you described it. Thank you so much, Mark, for the time, My for pleasure. sharing the story. Mark Zaid with me there. I just want to make a note. We did reach out to the State Department. We have not yet received a response.